Hey, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video on HCF, highest common factor, and LCM, lowest common multiple. So make sure you don't get these two things mixed up as a lot of people do. What we're going to do is we're going to be given two numbers and we're going to find the highest common factor, which is the highest number that goes into both the numbers, and then the lowest common multiple, which is the lowest number that's divisible by both of the numbers. So these concepts are very important for when we do things like fractions. For example, highest common factor is needed to simplify fractions. Lowest common multiple is needed to add fractions. But there are many other areas of maths that require these concepts. So let's start by doing an example. We're going to find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of the two numbers 18 and 12. So let's start with the highest common factor. So the way that we might do this, an easy way to do it, would be to list the factors of both numbers. So let's start by listing the factors of 18. Remember, they come in pairs. So we have 1 and 18. We have 2 times 9, 3 times 6. We can try 4. That doesn't go into 18. 5 doesn't go into 18. And I can stop because the next number is 6 that I've already got. So these are the factors of 18. So let's write the factors of 12. So 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and I can stop there because after 3, I already have the number 4. So in blue, I've written all the factors of 18 and all the factors of 12. So common here means shared. I want to find a number that is a factor of 18 and also a factor of 12. So I want to find a number that is in both lists. Because it's the highest common factor, I want to find the highest number in both lists. So you can see there that 1, 2, and 3 appear in both lists. But they're not the highest common factor. The highest number in both lists is 6. So the highest common factor, we can write it like this, highest common factor of 18 and 12 is 6. 6 is the highest number that is a factor of 12 and also a factor of 18. So let's now look at the lowest common multiple. So to do that, we can do something quite similar to what we did. So we just listed the factors. So let's now list the multiples of 12 and 18, and then figure out which is the lowest number in each list. So the multiples of 12, you start at 12 and you keep going. So we're just going to list the first like seven or so, and then we're going to list the multiples of 18. So 18, 36, 54. If you're stuck and you don't know, use your calculator. The next multiple is 18 times 4, 18 times 5, 18 times 6, 18 times 7. So when we're talking multiples, we want the lowest number in both lists. So hopefully you can see that that is 36. Now 72, for example, also appears in both lists, but it is not the lowest number that appears in both lists. The answer is 36. So lowest common multiple of 18 and 12 is 36. Now, most people find lowest common multiple harder than highest common factor. So if you're good at finding the highest common factor, I'm going to give you a way that you can find the lowest common multiple a little easier. So this rule here in black says the lowest common multiple of two numbers, I'm just calling them A and B. To find that, you can multiply the two numbers together and divide by their highest common factor. So in the example we did, our two numbers were 18 and 12. So the lowest common multiple of 18 and 12, we can get another way. We can multiply 18 by 12 and divide by the highest common factor, which was 6. So 18 times 12, 216 divided by 6 gives you 36, which is exactly the same answer that we got over here. So it doesn't matter which of these methods you want to use for the lowest common multiple, I don't mind. So that's how we can use the highest common factor to find the lowest common multiple. So I just want to look at a few sort of pathological cases. So please pause and copy down this slide if you need.
So some numbers actually don't have a common factor other than one. So there are heaps of numbers for which that's true. So for example, if I wanted to find the highest common factor of not 18 and 12, but 19 and 12, well, the only factors of 19 are 19 and 1, because 19 turns out to be a prime number. So the only number that goes into 19 and 12 is 1. So if two numbers have a highest common factor of 1, we call them coprime. So the highest common factor of two numbers is not always a large number. It can be 1. But any two numbers will always have at least one common factor because 1 goes into any number. So in this case, because the numbers are coprime, because they have no common factors, it turns out that the lowest common multiple, the lowest number divisible by both, will just be their product, will just be those two multiplied together. Okay, so that works because these two numbers were coprime. So I want you to also know there are other ways to find highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So later in this part of the course, we're going to look at using prime factorization trees to do this. However, we need to learn a bit more before we're up to that. So for now, the strategy you're going to use for highest common factor is just find the factors of each number, then find the highest number that appears in both lists. To find the lowest common multiple, I've given you two ways to do it. You can write out the multiples of each number and find the lowest number in each list, or you can use the formula. You can multiply the two numbers together and divide by the highest common factor. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.